When using Forms Pro, we have the ability to send out and distribute the survey via email. So if we go into the email section, we can see that by default, if we're just using the default template, it's got a link or a button where we can click to start the survey. What we can do now is we can actually take the first question from your survey and you can embed it into the email so that the recipient of that email can see the first question and go ahead and respond to it. So let's have a look at how to do that. If I have a look here, I've got my um, survey. Let's go back to this. And my survey is just a simple training feedback survey. We're asking for the name, we're asking for a net promoter score response, and then also the primary reason for that score given. So let's go back to sending a survey and we'll go back to email. And if I see here, I've got this embed first question, but notice that it's grayed out. And if we hover the mouse over, we can see that it says, ensure in your survey that the first question is a rating or net promoter score question, that shuffling questions is not enabled, or branching rules are not defined. So if you're not sure about what some of those mean, if we go back to the survey itself, and we look here, and we look in um, settings, so we have the ability to shuffle questions. So if you've got that turned on, because if you think about the fact that you've got all your questions, that first question isn't always going to be the same. Um, it's going to be a lot harder, obviously, to be able to try and um, create that to, to embed that first question, because the first question would be different each time. So as long as that's not turned on, you're fine. And then also, if we go back um, and we look here, and we look at branching rules, as long as you don't have any branching rules that are set up. So in other words, if the answer to question one is um, yes, display question two. If it's no, don't hide it and display question three, that kind of thing. So as long as you don't have any branching rules. So the other thing that it said was the first question had to either be a rating or a net promoter score question. So our second question is our net promoter score question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move that up and make it question one. That will be the starting point of the survey. So if I now click back on send survey, go to the email to send the survey, we can see now that that embed first question, I can go ahead and actually click on that. Now, it doesn't actually matter what it is in here in terms of the template. Um, if I just click embed first question, you'll see that it removes the link for the survey and it just puts just puts the first question in there. So let's go ahead and we'll send this to Jane. Let's look for her. Let's wait for her. There we go. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and send this to Jane. So I've got everything in. I'm just going to go ahead and click send and we'll be able to see what that looks like in just a moment. So you can see there that yes, you can put that first question in there. This is only available if you're sending out your emails via Forms Pro itself. So in other words, if you are generating the email to be sent using Microsoft Flow, you're not going to have the same option. Um, and uh, so so like I said, you're only going to be, be able to do this with Forms Pro. And again, remember that you have to have a Forms, uh, sorry, a net promoter to score question first or a ratings question first. So if I now go into my email in my inbox, so here we have it and now we can see that first question is now displayed in that email. So I'm going to go ahead and give the training an eight. So all I'm doing is I'm just clicking that. It's immediately directing me to the survey itself. But what whatever I clicked on for the response within the email, so I clicked on eight, we can see that that's already filled out as an eight. So it is taking the response that they've given and then passing it through into the survey itself. So hopefully that helps. Is that something that you think you would use? If so, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Um, I'd love to know. Um, but it, this is a relatively new feature as of um, end of October, beginning of November 2019 at the time of this video being recorded. Um, so we might see in the future that it might be added as an option to Microsoft Flow if you're sending out your, your um, survey invitations that way. But as for now, it's just if you're sending from Forms Pro itself. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.